Thank you all for being here with us today. You're going to be trying a raspberry cheesecake inspired by Justin Timberlake. You'll be hit with a beautiful bouquet of blueberries and raspberries followed by some sour notes and a light finish of salt and lemon. Please enjoy. I love a good dessert dream. We're gonna have to give this one a go. The inspiration for the flavor of this cheesecake came from the raspberry muffins that I made. I'll link that at the end. And also from the banana whipped cream that I made in my first week of no sugar desserts. I'm gonna start with the filling first because I know that it has to cool down all the way and that can take a couple of hours. So I just have here one cup of mixed frozen blueberries and raspberries. Put them in the pot here with one teaspoon of stevia, which is allowed in my fruit sweetened and weird keto sugar rules for these four weeks. And to this, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of lemon extract and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna try not to mash these down too much because I want to have a little bit of texture in the cheesecake from the berries. Oh, I just realized this almond milk has a crap ton of sugar, so I'm gonna switch to regular milk. So in order to improve on last week's banana whipped cream with the cornstarch making these little clumps, I'm going to add the cornstarch into the milk before I put the milk into the pot to avoid getting those clumps. And crap, would you look at that? I got a little bit of chunks. Let's keep going just in case when I warm this up, it'll smooth out. Haha, look at there, we smoothed them out. Okay, so we're just gonna boil this for about two minutes just to let it thicken up a bit. I'm gonna cool this down on a plate because a plate will go faster than a bowl and get my saran wrap and cover it up and that just helps to make sure that there is no like hard skin on my little pudding concoction here. And then I'm gonna put that into the fridge. Since I can't use graham crackers because there's sugar in that, I think I'm gonna take this idea from my daughter who likes to spread Nutella on saltine crackers. So I'm gonna take this package of saltine crackers and crush them into oblivion. Yeah, it's like getting an extra workout in. Well, getting a workout in. <laughs> Who's talking about extra? <laughs> Obviously not me. <laughs> One teaspoon of this powdered stevia blend, melt down three tablespoons of butter. I'm only gonna do a six inch crust because if this is disgusting, I don't wanna waste that much and throw it away. Yeah. I don't throw away desserts, I eat them. Crust is in the fridge. To finish the filling, you're gonna put in half a cup of heavy cream. Also going to put in another little bit. All right, on high, probably like 30 seconds. And I'm gonna show you my trick for the cream cheese to make sure that this gets really smooth. Oh. It might help if I plug it in. Ah! We have soft peaks. This is my trick for the whipped cream to make sure you get no clumps in it. Kind of get it in that bowl and we're gonna pop it into the microwave for 10 seconds. Now just take your fork. You definitely want a fork and not a spoon. So it's kind of like a whisk. You can use a bigger bowl if you want to make this easier on yourself. I just really like to make things hard. <laughs> All right, so half of that. All right, and perfect. Beautiful filling that is completely cold. Switch to the pedal attachment. A little bit at a time. Another clump here. And last one. Boop. Okay, scrape it. After your last scrape, you always stir it one more time. Taste freaking test. I am a freaking dessert connoisseur, sommelier, whatever the crap you wanna call it. I am so good at making crap up. <laughs> no, good thing I'm the only one in my family that will eat this. <laughs> I have really good news. If you make a six inch one, you're gonna have extra that you can just save and eat. Now smooth this little baby out. 
This is going in the refrigerator and I'm gonna put it in there for at least two hours to set up. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the most daring feat of all, taking the cheesecake out of the pan. Oh my gosh, it totally worked. That is so cool. And now to find out if the dessert sommelier was correct. The filling is super light and fresh and the crust has that perfect salt flavor. I can't tell you how good this is. You definitely need to try it. If you wanna see another no-bake watermelon cheesecake that I made up, check out this video up here. And for the other banana whipped cream, check out the video right over here. I'll see you there. Bye. Mm. Totally licking that off camera, of course. <laughs> Make sure that doesn't touch anything. My precious.